Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we are going to demo the new Shar Tilbury Beautiful Skin Foundation. Very excited about this. I was sent this yesterday and I haven't tried it at all. I haven't read any reviews. I haven't watched any videos because I wanted to give this a proper first impressions video type experience. I colour matched myself on the Shara Tilbury website to the shade 2 neutral and it comes in 30 shades. Now Shara Tilbury herself says that each shade it's flexible, it's stretchable. Now this has so many different claims and I want to go through it because the press release it is very full and I remember when I was watching the zoom thinking I can't remember all this, there's like a lot. It contains rose complex and that's going to help combat the signs of stress, fatigue on the skin. I'm going to give you like a brighter more glowing skin. We'll see. It has coconut extract in it as well and that improves the skin's ability to hold water so you're going to have like plumper skin. It has Bix Active. Never heard of that. It says extracted from Bixa Oranella seeds. It decreases oiliness and visibly reduces the appearance of pores by minimising shine and imperfections for smoother looking skin. It also has Hyalero Smooth. Now, she was talking about this loads on the Zoom and it says that it's derived from Cassia Angustifolia seeds <laughs> which are naturally rich in polysaccharides and even skin texture and improves dryness and loss of radiance has hyaluronic acid in there as well and a pollution defense complex. This is 40 euro and it's available online and in stores now. So I'm just gonna stop waffling and let's like apply. You can see the texture here. You can see that it's quite thick, it's, but it's running um, on the skin as well. So it's not like a really runny liquid. So this is said to give a medium level of coverage. And as you can see, I get redness on my nose, on my forehead too. This is said to improve the look of your skin every time you wear it. And I always take things like that with a pinch of salt, especially when it comes to skincare. And I'm the same when it comes to foundations that have SPF. This doesn't have SPF in it. Because you saw the size of that pump and I'm gonna spread that over my entire face. And if you think of your, if you have like hyaluronic acid that you use every day or a vitamin C serum, think of how much you would put a pump's worth of each of those products on your skin beforehand, if that makes sense. Like I'm still gonna use my skincare. I've never used something like this in place of skincare. It's gonna be used in conjunction with. So it's blending into the skin really nicely. I'm using a new foundation brush because I just thought that the occasion deserved it. And um, this is actually the perfect match for me, perfect. I want to put this on my hand because I wanna see if it oxidizes. So whatever's left on my hand will dry in and then we'll apply a new pump just to see what it's like because as I said, the airbrush foundation oh my god that oxidized so hard <laughs> it looked like two shades darker as you can see i'm just applying a really light layer i'd say i've used about a half a pump's worth and i will be checking to see if it's buildable i'll add like a second layer on so yeah i would say at the moment it's given like a light to medium coverage i wouldn't say it's like quite medium just yet but it's taken the, the redness on my forehead and on my nose it has like a grand bit of glow there too Okay, I have good vibes with this. But these are the pores that are always the true test of a foundation and it has smoothed over them perfectly. Do you know what? I think as an experiment, what I'm gonna do is leave this half of my face like this, but then the other half, I'm gonna use the Airbrush Flawless Setting Spray as my primer. I'll apply the foundation and then I'll apply this over the top. I'm not gonna apply powder over it because I just wanna see how it wears with and without this because this stuff is but brilliant okay i'm gonna use the press release as a protector over the other side of my face oh shit <laughs> just to be dry so i'm gonna use the rest of the pump all over my the other side of my face i love this because it looks like it's your skin it doesn't look like i'm wearing makeup oh, i love that i think gone are the days that we want to look like we are caked in makeup what i usually do when trying out foundations is use a brush on one side and a sponge on the other but because we're using this as like the point of difference i just want to use the same brush you know yourself i'm all about that science aspect of life it's got a slight yellow tint to it which i like because as i said it combats the redness on my skin so that's one layer of the foundation gives really nice glowage, really nice level of coverage. I can kind of still see like a tiny little bit of redness here. So I'm gonna go back in with whatever's left on my hand just to build it up. This is what I would usually do anyway. Apply more to my cheeks and then the schnoz. It's layering really nicely. This is, in case anyone's wondering, this is a blank canvas brush. It's part of like the Christmas quad. It's the, what is it? F06, it's like slightly angled. This is very nice. Now I know you might be looking at this and think, oh my God, you look so pale, but it matches my neck. I'm very pale, like look, I'm very pale. <laughs> I would say that like my skin does look brighter, like there's the glow. Now from the feeling, it hasn't dried down. That's quite tacky. Oh, actually I meant to spritz this side. A Vecla thing to set it. 
Now I'm not gonna be leaving the house today so I'm not gonna be wearing like a face covering so I won't be able to test it in that regard but what I am gonna do is over on the blog I'm gonna give like a full review in a couple of weeks. I think I'm gonna apply the rest of my makeup and then I'll come back and give you my final thoughts on the first impressions after just applying it. Okay bye. Also just so you know it is 11 11.49 Okay, the makeup is done. I just kept it very basic today. Bit of liner, bit of eyeshadow, mascara, brows, a little bit of blush. I haven't put highlight or uh, bronzer on because I'm not going anywhere. This is the foundation that's on the back of my hand. So it's still, it hasn't dried down at all. Like I can still blend that. So let me just apply a little bit more. So I just want to see what that looks like when it is fresh. I don't think that's oxidized much at all. So let me pull back a little bit because I don't want the ring light to wash it out. So that's the original kind of swatch from earlier and then that's the fresh swatch from just now. No, it's not dried down at all on my skin and it is kind of coming off. I think for my skin type, now I have an oily T-zone, um, kind of like normal cheeks, but I think for this to stay put on me, oh, I don't know, we'll see anyway. Um. I would need to powder it, I would need to set it because it's so, it's still kind of tacky and it's still dewy. What I will say is I absolutely love the finish that it gives my skin. I think it is gorgeous. Anyway, I'm going to go about my day because I have loads of bits to be doing and I will check in in a few hours. So this is what it's like at 12.12 12 now. 12.12 oh, 12, make a wish. Um, it is now 26 minutes past 3. Can you see? And I'm gonna do a check-in. Okay, first impressions, this is what it looks like. What time did I finish? Was it like 12-ish? And um, this is what it looks like anyway. Let's have like a little squeeze, a little close-up, like this. <laughs> so I can see my nose, my nose has been kind of cold. I can see that it has rubbed off on my schnoz here. I can see as well that it has gathered here in that smile line. Not so much on that side. And that's the side that we put the setting spray on. It definitely still feels tacky on both sides. My pores here still look great. Slightly breaking down ever so slightly on my nose. Can you see my nose is red? <laughs> In terms of the cheek, now I didn't apply highlighter earlier when I was doing my makeup. The glow is still there. Um, but I, I would actually enjoy if I could powder down my T-zone here a little bit because that's it's something that I would always do just to kind of keep the shine at bay. I think that while the majority of my head still looks nice and glowy here, maybe it's just like the ring light, just makes it look like it's extra shiny. I'm trying not to touch it too much so that when I do a check in later, we can kind of see the situation that we're in. But let me come up close and personal. We're back for the final check-in of the day and it is a quarter past seven and this is what the foundation looks like now now on my cheeks i think it's looking good it is quite obvious that it has worn off around my nose completely <laughs> my nose has just been running today so i've been like tissuing it i kind of want to like fix it but i'm not going to eat just yet and um, i know the ring light always kind of enhances the glow of a foundation but across my forehead on both sides it looks like shiny it looks kind of sweaty um, I would need to powder this down to make it look decent. It has slightly collected in my pores here, slightly, slightly. But I think if I powdered that, I don't think that would have happened. Um, I think it's fine on this side. Can I just fix my nose so I can talk to you properly? Okay, one second. I didn't, this is my brush from earlier on. I haven't put any extra foundation on it. But what I will say is that like it does a decent job of covering the redness. Okay, my final first impression thoughts are, it is gorgeous for giving glowy skin. I think if you had dry skin, your face would enjoy it. <laughs> that sounds really weird. It sounded better on my mind. But I think if you have any oily parts on your skin, you would need to powder for it to stay in place all day. I know for a fact if I was wearing like a face covering, it would be gone off my nose completely. But on the whole, I think it's a really lovely foundation. But what I wanted to show you actually really quickly was, I wanted to compare this just on my hand um, if you want to see like a full side-by-side -side review, like comparison of this, let me know. But I want to show you this. So that is the Charlotte Tilbury one. I'm going to show you my sculpted second skin matte. And then I'm going to show you the CC cream from um, It Cosmetics in the shade Light. Charlotte Tilbury sculpted It Cosmetics. So let's have a little look. I can't see anything in the screen. Oh, I'll look in the mirror here. So that's the Charlotte Tilbury one. That's the sculpted one. 
and that's the It Cosmetics one. Charlotte Tilbury Shade 2, Sculpted 2.5 and It Cosmetics Light. If I blend them out a little bit I can see like the true finish of them. They're all quite similar. So you can see the It Cosmetics one is significantly darker than the other two. The sculpted one side by side has like a bit more of like a peachy, peachy pinky undertone. It makes the Charlotte Tilbury one look a little bit more yellow. In conclusion, first impressions are really, really good. I'm going to continue using it to see how I get on with it. I'm going to try it with like different brushes, with beauty blenders, applying it with my fingers. I'm going to powder my skin tomorrow after using it. I'll keep you posted on how I get on with it over on the blog, which I will link below. I'd like to see how it would compare to the sculpted second skin. Kind in like a side-by-side -side comparison. Do I think it's better than Sculpted Second Skin? Not obviously so, but no, if I thought that this was obviously better than this, um, I would let you know, but would I kind of pick this over this? Probably not, but it's only my first day using it, so we'll see. Anyway, thanks so much for watching my video, and if you do want to pick this up yourself, then I will leave it linked below. It's available on the Charlotte Tilby website, and in stores here, I think Ernest and Brown Thomas do it. But thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in my next video. Okay, bye.